Hello awesome people and welcome to Seriously Scientific. Today we're going to talk about Stonehenge, one of the world's greatest mysteries. Built over 4,500 years ago, it's a marvel of ancient engineering with each stone placed with purpose and precision. But today we're zooming in on one stone in particular, the altar stone. It's not just any old stone, it's one of the central pieces of this ancient puzzle, sitting right at the heart of Stonehenge. And it's been the center of a new scientific mystery. Just where did it come from? Well, let's dig into that. It all starts with a bit of science and a neat trick we like to call fingerprinting. Now, we all have fingerprints, those tiny swirling ridges on our fingers that make each of us unique. They help us grip things, and of course, help please find out when you've been where you shouldn't have been. But did you know that rocks have their own kind of fingerprints? Not with swirls and ridges, but with a unique blend of minerals and elements that tell us where they've been. It's like nature's way of signing a rock, saying, hey, it came from over there. Now, every rock is made up of different minerals, tiny building blocks of matter. And just like no two snowflakes are the same, no two rocks are the same either. They each have their own unique mix of minerals, trace elements, and isotopes, a fancy word for atoms with extra neutrons in their core. Scientists can take a little piece of rock, zap it with x-rays, or even vaporize it with a laser to see what it's made of, down to the tiniest detail. This is how we find the rock's fingerprint. Okay, so let's get back to Stonehenge and our altar stone. For years, scientists thought this massive stone at the center of it all came from Wales, just like many of the other stones at Stonehenge. But new research suggests that the altar stone's fingerprint doesn't quite match the rocks in Wales. Instead, it points to Scotland, hundreds of kilometers further away. Imagine that, hauling a 6,000 kilogram rock from Scotland all the way to the center of Stonehenge, around 4,000 years ago. That's a journey of about 400 kilometers. That's like dragging it halfway across the country in a time when there were no paved roads, no wheels, just sheer human effort and ingenuity. But how do we know? Well, it's not just a guess. Scientists use techniques like X-ray fluorescence and isotopic analysis. They took tiny samples from the altar stone and compared its chemical fingerprint to rocks from different places. It's a bit like matching DNA. If the elements and isotopes line up, you've found your source. And that's the cool thing about Stonehenge. Every stone has a story to tell, a journey etched into its very essence. The altar stone isn't just a big slab of rock. It's a central piece of an ancient puzzle, a traveler with a unique fingerprint that tells us where it's been. It's not just about the stones themselves, it's about understanding the people who moved them, the incredible effort it took, and maybe even why they chose that stone for the center in the first place. So next time you think about Stonehenge, remember, it's not just a pile of rocks, it's a fingerprint of history, waiting to be read from 4,000 years in the past. Wow! Okay, so that's it from me today. Thanks for watching, awesome people. And please check out the description for credits and other cool links, as well as smashing that like and subscribe button for more cool fact bites coming your way.